Wenzel, and he got really far with Guy, too, showing that Kamal Fiends, he, at Wednesday night fights in the summer edition, he was using a lot of Yun, looking like he was trying to alert him, but he just went with Guy anyway, and he's sticking with him even right now during the start of Arcade Edition here at Wednesday Night Fights. Well, I, I really like that from Peter, because traditionally he doesn't go with the very top two characters. He right. always manages to find a character that's a little, a little uh, quirky, a little, little funky, but that he makes work really well. Right. And I want to point out that he has maybe ended the Oni experiment after a single <laughs> tournament. With, uh, that's true. <laughs> kind of, you know, I, I'm not happy to see and that I really want to see somebody make that character work. But I am happy to see that Peter's back to Guy. I really like his Guy a lot. I think it's better than his own age. But I mean, uh, the thing about Combo Fiend is that he's really good at using characters that have a lot of options. Right. It's like as long as there's a lot of stuff to do. That's why he used Abel and Viper in the first game, and then he switched to Guy. He just enjoys having a bunch of different like movement methods and and you know, and Guy has all those run techniques and everything right. like that. So. And it's a character who he can play, you know, in a great footsie game with, but also an excellent, excellent mi mi uh, mix-up game. But right now, Vicious. I expect a Ugh. command grab reset somewhere. Yep. Oh, hello. Hello, James Ken. Yeah, because I figured he wanted to catch him with that so he could get the free grenade in. He had the meter all ready to go. So what's Combo going to do right now? Vicious, who, by the way, I eliminated last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with is, who? Uh, with Dan. That's right. Against yeah, that's his right. Yun. I made him switch away from Yun. He played Rufus. Beat him there. And right, now Combo Fiend wants to go <laughs> with for a character change. Oh, it's going to go. Oh, it's Yun. It's Yun. Oh, wow. Combo Fiend says, really, huh? You know, I mean, he, he does he does think of this game as being really imbalanced. And he's, yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. wrong about that. Obviously, Yun is awesome. And so that's that's why he was playing Yun before, that he thought that he in this game at least you couldn't beat him, you had to join him, and here he is trying to join him again. Right. He actually said whether you win or lose in AE was dependent on your actions during the, the select screen. Right. Uh, oh. So he he's green Yun. Yeah, Combo Fiend is green Yun. Vicious is uh, black Yun. Got him in the corner right now. A little strange to talk about Yun Yun Mirror. What do you think? <laughs> oh, he's in his face pressing buttons. Yep. He just he wasn't in his face just a second ago, but he oh, got in there for no. free. Now he's in there. And Combo Fiend drops a combo, crucial combo, but manages to land that short up kicks. It's so good because you can't cross that move up. Yeah. You cannot bait it like you can bait a lot of other uppercuts. Oh, I, I thought that Vicious might have been trying for a safe jump setup there, but that's not how you do it. Mm. And, and you can see right there that Combo Fiend probably hasn't used Yun a lot recently, dropping some of the, the relatively easier links that uh, Yun has. Nice counter there, uppercut for wow, Vicious. that was real fancy. Went low. Oh. Ooh. Oh. But see, once again dropping combos. Oh, no short up kicks into Ganage in there. Saving his meter. And again, I'm, I think Vicious is looking for up kicks too often because Combo Fiend just keeps waking up with Ooh. throws. And Combo Fiend has missed so many combos. Wow, he really wanted to match each each of those times. Oh. I can see his, his hands on the stick mashing the crap Jer Jeremy's out of looking that at me. Bunch. Jeremy is looking at me and he's nodding like, I got this, I got this. Just you watch, just you watch. Jeremy, of course, uh, I'm talking about Vicious. vicious. Oh, ooh. Yeah, Combo Fiend looks really off with his uh, Yun today. And now Vicious dropping into Combo Fiend. There it is. Did you get the juggle? Yep, yep. stand short, keep going. He's going to be all the way in the corner. No. Ooh, drop. drops. Very unfortunate. That could be a, that could, that could have been the difference in this round. Oh, here comes this Combo. Match. He's got Gane. And he's right into Ultra 1. You want to keep it early so that it doesn't get too much damage reduction. Yep. It is a lot, but it would have been worse otherwise. <laughs> and I like Vicious's old school method. It's the custom anti-custom combo trick of hitting buttons loudly to try to throw your opponent's right. timing off. Totally. It's a completely legitimate in-person tactic. It's wow, actually combo's really looking for that jump roundhouse. Yeah. See, Vicious mad because he knew he had that combo. I mean, he, he's saying that if he had landed it, he would have won. He would have won. Yeah, but he to, didn't land it. But to Combo Fiend's credit, he's been dropping combos too. That's so, true. You know. Hard to say. So this is match point for both guys. Vicious is not going to switch away. He does also play Rufus, but you know he likes Yun. He 
Clay's gone well. So there you go, Peter dropping his combos as well. It is a drop combo fest here. The combo fiend has left. Wow, that was real weird looking. That hit so high up. That, that hit like behind weird. his head. There we go. Not quite a meter for Ganagian. Both oh. of them are on the verge of Ganagian. Oh, no. oh, great FADC there from Peter to save himself at the last second. Chip. Is that Chip? Yeah, and Vicious just dashing right in and uppercutting. Because yeah, if you well, hit, he, yeah. uh, if you hit late enough with that rush punch, you have a plus advantage even without the EX one. All right, Kamofi not dropping that time. And he's really trying to put the pressure on Vicious, trying to say, get off me. I mean, this is kind of a, a goofy match because, I mean, it's very comparable to the Kami Kami match I talked about, that it's just like uppercuts and dive kicks, you know? Yeah. And, and that's basically how this match is going right now. They're just both uppercutting and dive kicking each other. Yeah, See? basically. <laughs> there you go. The round ended with an uppercut and a dive kick. And fittingly, it goes all the way down to the wire. This is the last round. Yep. I, we've had so many close matches. I think everyone has been like going to almost the last round every time. Yeah, we've had a bunch of good sets so far. That's a good point. You see that low strong beating the Young's dive kick there? The Young's dive kick, of course, has a horrible hitting box and a very large hittable box. Right. Oh, come <laughs> on. Come <laughs> on. Uh, so they missed the... Dive kick, uh, they miss uppercuts and then they trade dive kicks. Right. Oh, man. Uh, I, I gotta admit, oh, after, boy. after seeing this match, I gotta say, this is a pretty silly looking match. Yeah. And it's Not gonna kill. Yeah, he, so he goes for the reset. Oh, great block, but into the oh. low jabs. And Vicious takes it. I mean, he, Vicious. He saw, he saw the cross coming, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah. ever since this game came out, Vicious has been using Yun. Combo Fiend yeah. started with him, but then you could see that he went to. Uh, guy for all of EVO, so he doesn't have quite that muscle memory and that uh, burned in reactions for Yun. So Vicious, uh, with his more seasoned Yun, takes it from Combo Fiend.